Hey guys, my name is Tom and welcome to my very first devlog video. For the last 9 months I've been working on a first person pirate themed multiplayer game and I've been documenting the process on my blog. Now this is a massive project and I as the sole developer can only do so much with the time I have. I went into this fully aware of the fact that I may never finish it. In this video I want to cover what I've done so far so that you're up to speed. I'll keep this summary relatively brief as I've been posting bi-weekly dev updates on my blog for most of the time I've been working on this. If you're interested, I'll leave a link to those posts in the description below. Unfortunately, up until about two weeks ago, I was still using my old computer, which wasn't super powerful. It could barely run the game at more than 20 frames per second, even without recording the screen. That means the only video footage I have is from the current state of development. I started this mega project in early January of this year. The first thing I did was set up a dedicated server and after about two days I was able to successfully connect players and send information back and forth. Since then I've added relatively basic player movement and I've given players the ability to steer the ship, fire cannons and climb ladders. Despite being relatively new to shader programming, I decided to write all the shaders myself except for the skybox one and it turned out surprisingly well which has allowed me to achieve this nice low poly look. I'm quite fond of this art style and it's convenient too because I don't need textures to make stuff look good. That's one less thing I need to spend my time on. I'm especially proud of how the water turned out. Unity doesn't really allow shadows to be rendered on transparent objects, but after about 3 months I was super stoked when I finally found a workaround. It's not ideal but it gets the job done and there aren't really any alternatives so it'll have to do at least for now. In terms of the game's theme and story, quite a few mechanics will be similar to what you see in Sea of Thieves. At this point, the only thing that's concrete is that I want to be able to sail ships in first person. It'll probably be set somewhere around the age of sail, so in the 16 and 1700s. Raiding other ships will be a core part of the game, and I've been playing with the idea of implementing Greek mythology. I'd also love to include a player driven economy and the ability to build stuff like strongholds and ports, but those things only further increase the scale of the project. As I mentioned before, nothing is set in stone and these are all just ideas, but I wanted to share a bit of what my vision is for this game. With that said, the current state of the game is still primitive. At the moment I'm working on reducing the amount of data sent between client and server, while also smoothing out the movement of players, ships, and cannonballs. As you may have noticed throughout the video, on occasion there's some quirky rendering going on. Smoothing out movement should solve most of the flickering, but I need to figure out what is causing parts of the water to turn solid white. Once that's done, I want to make ships damageable so that naval battles actually become possible. At the moment, cannonballs simply bounce off of anything they hit. If you're interested in what I'll be working on in the near future, I've set up a rough road map on Trello which I'll update regularly. I'll link to that below. Finally, if you're interested in joining our community on Discord, please check out the invite link in the description. Whether you're looking for help with a programming issue, have a project of your own you'd like to share, or you just want to hang out, we'd love to have you. That's it for today. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button as it really helps out the channel. And if you're looking for more, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you're always notified when I upload another video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again next time.